Hello and welcome to my first ever Sims YouTube video. We're going to be doing the Sims 2 Asylum Challenge. I'm pretty excited. I'm hopeful that it can be used as kind of a fun storytelling tool, a jumping off point to create some characters and see where their lives take them. So I hope that you'll join me. And without further ado, let's jump right in and get to know everybody. I did create a video uh, where I was in Create a Sim, making all the characters that we're going to get to know. And uh, I'm a little pea brain, so I messed up the sound, and I really don't feel like filming it again. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you all the important info that you need to know. The only sim that we're allowed to click on and control at any point during the Asylum Challenge mm. is... Barrett Joubert. He's a fortune sim and a Capricorn. Barrett's traits are loner, vegetarian, artistic, brooding, and evil. He's very grouchy and very sloppy, so something tells me that he might not be the greatest guy to run this institution, but we're gonna see how he does. The way the asylum challenge works is you have eight sims in a house, but you can only ever control one of them, and that's Barrett, the man we just met. The challenge ends once Barrett achieves his lifetime goal to earn a hundred thousand dollars so i feel like that's gonna be pretty hard um hopefully uh, everybody can thrive and survive in this uh building that i made and i made this building according to the rules you can only have six seats five beds one toilet one bathtub one sink now that we've met Barrett and taken a brief tour of the house, let's quickly get an intro to the seven unique, colorful characters who will be under his care. First up, we have Jonathan Jeffson, a romance sim and a Taurus. Jonathan is desperately shy and extremely playful, although he's not really acting like either since his traits are mean-spirited, good sense of humor, horn salesperson, angler, and hot-headed. Next up, Solange English, a romance sim and an Aquarius. She's extremely neat and very, very shy. Oh, Solange, it's gonna be okay. Her traits are shy, mooch, loser, born salesperson, and a heavy sleeper. Morty Paletti is our next roommate. He's a pleasure sim and a Leo. He has almost maxed out niceness and outgoingness and is super playful. And even though he's almost completely nice, he does have the evil trait. He's hydrophobic, ambitious, a natural born performer, and also a born salesperson. I don't know why they're all born salespeople. Nolan Garofalo. Well, he, he doesn't excel at much. He's pretty average. A fortune sim and a Libra. He loves the heat, is a night owl, an angler, easily impressed, and unlucky. Blanche Radcliffe, a popularity sim and a Gemini. She has almost maxed out active and niceness skills. Her traits are handy, brave, irresistible, charismatic, and a great kisser. Red Blakely, uh, yikes. Well, he's a pleasure sim and a Virgo, but he really doesn't live up to the Virgo stereotype as he has zero neat points. But what he lacks in neatness and outgoingness and laziness, he and niceness, he sure makes up for in playfulness. He loves the cold, is a hopeless romantic, a tinkerer, also evil, and dramatic. Last but not least, we have Letitia Holm. She's a knowledge sim and a cancer. She's almost maxed out in basically every category, neat, outgoing, super active. Her traits are good, neat, perfectionist, brooding, and unflirty. And oh, well, I guess she thinks it's time to go. She says, let's, let's get the show on the road, everybody. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get started. Oh my God, what? <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I guess this isn't why maybe one, uh, <laughs> Would play with a oh the skunk that's a really nice touch, a nice stanky little kiss. Okay, now we're back to just spying on uh, Blanche through the window. She's really, just really feeling herself. It's pretty impressive. They've been living on this lot for about ten seconds, and they're already about to 
get down to business. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, well, they are madly in love. Skunk's going off over there. This freaking guy, uh, he's some townie. I don't know. You really got your work cut out for you, my friend. I'm gonna do my best so that your, you know, evil impulses don't ruin the lives of any of these sweet, innocent people. Who is falling in love? Oh my gosh. All right. Letitia and Morty. Oh, look, his favorite hobby is cuisine. That's pretty convenient because he's going to need to be cooking for everybody for at least a little while. This is some custom painting. I don't remember who, but I thought it was kind of funny. It sort of looked like a motivational poster. Like everyone is in this dingy, nasty building with this run by this insane guy. But then, you know. The poster on the wall is like, shoot for the moon, you'll end up in the stars. He's gonna make some lunch meat sandwiches. Look at that delicious, delicious bread texture. All right, we're gonna have to call these fools to meal. Oh my gosh, I'm so automatically wanting to just click on everyone to see if they're hungry or not, and I can't. I can never click on anyone again. We're going to call the household to meal. Yeah, I hope you go to her, please, with yourselves. So long, just walking in like... <laughs> yeah, I saw you guys making out. Now, this is just 100% not the entire house. Oh my god, but I can't... I can't... I can't click on them and tell them to come. Why aren't they eating? Where are you? She's going to dance herself to death because she won't come eat. Blanche, I mean, you're gifted. You've, you're very wow. gifted, but I really need you to come, to come freaking eat. Oh, thank gosh. All right, he wants to get a job in the criminal career. Oh, he was reading the newspaper earlier. Oh gosh, did someone throw it out? Someone definitely threw it out. Like everyone in this house has one sloppy point and then there's two Sims who are 100% neat and I better keep a close eye on those newspapers. I'm never, ever. He wants to buy a sculpture costing $1,500. We only have $1,900. So should I do it? I mean, it's dumb, but he wants to. Maybe for the front entrance way. Hey man, he wanted to, not me. Letitia's out here looking at a camouflage Jeep. Yeah, well, looking at a pine tree. That certainly seems uh, realistic. Her eyes keep doing this thing. It's, whoa, whoa, it's freaking me out. The pupils like roll all the way back in her head. So I think the garbage has gone out like five times already today, but it looks like someone already managed to knock it over. So, uh, oh, thanks. Oh, okay, thank you. That's really nice. But are you gonna put the garbage in now? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're almost there. We're so close. So close. Yes! Uh, you know, sometimes they say your sims won't amount to anything. They say they're not smart. But that impressed me. Looks like Nolan and Barrett are watching a little TV. Just a little show about uh, pizza. About the Pleasant's eating pizza. Oh no. Every bed is claimed. Every bed is claimed. Barrett, you snooze, you lose. Meaning I snooze, I lose because I'm the one in control. So you know what? When you can't sleep and everyone's sleeping in your bed, it's nothing to do except make make a little spaghetti. Okay, Letitia and Morty are like BFF lovers united forever. Wow, he's really good at piano already. She's working out. She's doing a little ballet routine. And then everyone else is asleep. 
except for uh, my dumb ass down there making spaghetti. I wonder if you call people to meal if they're sleeping, if they'll wake up, and then I can steal their bed. <laughs> I'm really devoted. Really devoted to the patients, tricking them with spaghetti. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we can get a job in the criminal career or maybe architecture career. I locked in criminal only because, you know, I thought it kind of added a fun element to his personality, considering he does have the evil personality trait. No, no, I need that bed. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, what the, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. All right, well, maybe I'll take a nap on the couch. Oh. Sir? Sir! How am I the one doing the worst in this institution so far? This is just beyond the pale. Well, at least I can take a pee. I'm gonna die. Barrett is gonna die. And everyone else here is gonna live a long, beautiful, successful life. Let's see. He's not into her. Kind of into her. Okay, that's good. He's not super into any of the patients. I don't need, you know, the conduct board breathing down Barrett's neck because he's got a triple exclamation bolt with one of the patients and is acting like a creep. So, luckily, he's not into them. But it looks like he is bisexual. And he currently has the hot No! Don't have the hots for her. You don't even. That is unethical. We're not gonna be doing anything like that. Well, all right, take a shower. Yeah, I know you're tired, but you know, you're the genius who decided to staff an asylum with less beds and the total amount of people there. Oh my gosh, he did it. I don't know how he did it, but he's done it. Hey, Ladies man. and gentlemen, he's done it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Morty. Back to the couch, my friend, Morty. Back to the couch, my friend. Sorry about that. Here comes what's-his-face. Jonathan Jefferson. Learning for his Being a... Whoa! Pardon me, sir. I'm still sleeping, but everyone else is waking up, starting the day. Huh, no one's doing a little ballet. And it looks like everyone's in here enjoying some cereal. Oh god, he's baking something. He's making a toaster pastry. Don't stop cooking. Don't stop cooking. Please, whatever you do, pay attention. You're not allowed to have a smoke alarm. You're not allowed to have a burglar alarm. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? All right, I've got to wake up, wake up. And call... And call... The <laughs> no! Emergency! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Oh, gosh. Come on, you guys. It's the first day. Go faster! Bear it! It's like you don't even see what's happening. Please call the fire department. Thank you. Okay, hurry up. No, I don't want to extinguish it. Oh, thank you so much. Well, you missed us. Uh, okay. Yeah, nice one, Jonathan. Hey, I made it in the tub. I win. But could you guys leave? <laughs> the scream that Sims do when they're seeing someone naked is so funny. Can you guys get out? Now they're just flirting in the bathroom. He doesn't care. You have lost your cooking privileges. Yeah, okay, you can stuff your face. That's fine. Oh, no. Did I miss the... Oh, thank God. Run here. Don't eat that. You need to get a job before one of these freaking neat freaks picks up the newspaper and throws it away. Please be a criminal job. Please be a criminal job. But at this point, I'll take anything, honey. Mmm. No. Oh gosh, there's no more jobs. 
Can you relate? Well, we need to make some money. There's no other way to say it. Oh no. Where did it go? Where did the newspaper go? Oh god. I'm never gonna get a job. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a job. This is gonna go on forever. I'm so useless at this. Okay, he wants to talk about his hobby. He doesn't even have a hobby. Oh yeah, he likes cooking. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my hobby. I love cuisine. Oh, he hates. They all hate this guy. And you know what? Jonathan, you burnt the house down. So, everyone hates you. And honestly, rightfully so. She likes cooking too. He wants to eat lunch meat sandwiches. I can make that happen. Again with the skunk. Stop lurking here. Aw, oh, well, he's kind of cute. See ya. He did it. Go away. He ate a lunch meat sandwich. And everyone else is gonna get sick from eating these completely charred toaster pastries. Oh. <laughs> Girl, okay. Man, I... Alright, well, you know what? It's the love asylum. <laughs> People get sent here if they love too hard, laugh too much, and live like there's no tomorrow. Let's get the mail. Oof. Who's stinky? Oh, Solange. Pay all bills. Oh my gosh. Yikes. I forgot this is a really expensive house. So we have $465. We just paid $300 something. And now we have $141. So uh, yeah, long story short, uh, if I don't get a job tomorrow, I'm officially the worst uh, player in the history of The Sims. Yeah, just take your time. Definitely not a whole panel of people starving to death. Ooh. Okay, I thought you were trying to get food, but really you were just uh, tickling this strange man that you've never met. Now he wants to buy a sculpture costing at least $3,000. This guy's got $140 for eight people, and all he wants to do is buy more sculptures. What am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's not even an empty slot. The slots on these shelves, at least by the items I put on them, they don't really get filled. You can just keep putting things in the slot, which is not great, but none of these goobers had noticed that. Oh my gosh. Did I already look for a job in here? Oh yes, I can get a job. Get a job. Eh. Okay, sure. Science, that's great, that's great. Oh, what? Excuse me. Well, he liked that. She didn't really care. Excuse me, I'm trying to sleep. I'm sleeping one foot away from you. The love asylum. Oh. Everyone is just too H word. I feel so violated that this is happening. A foot away from my s myself asleep well not myself why do i keep calling him myself i was literally like he's so evil and creepy and i hate him and now i can't stop calling him me just because i'm controlling him he's not me i don't want to be him who where well where did these lovely little creatures come from who did that it's pretty cute was that you red there's too many blonde guys. I was looking at Jonathan this whole time thinking that it was Barrett. What if we kissed in the insane asylum? This guy won't stop trying to tickle this guy specifically. 
He's like, you're gonna let me tickle you. I'm gonna release these, cause, er, is it more evil to release someone else's special fireflies or to keep them in the jar? I think to keep them in the jar is more evil, so he's evil, so, yeah. Wants to gain a cleaning skill point. He can study it. I'm gonna get him through his first day of work and then call it a day. Call it a first successful, you know, yeah. Did it take me two days to get a job because I couldn't find the newspaper every day? Yeah. Is everyone here thriving except me? Yeah. But I'm gonna get a cleaning skill point. God dang it. I did it. That was a quick victory. He wants to get promoted. That's great. Because you're going to need to get promoted considering your life dream is to get $100,000. Oh, she let him tickle her. Finally. Finally. Red's found someone who let him tickle. Oh, okay. Red loves Solange. Solange really mostly seems to love this clock. Gotta wind the clock every day. Who keeps doing this? I'm gonna have to lock this door. I'm gonna have to lock this door. There was a rule that she couldn't lock any doors, but I think since it only makes sense storytelling wise for him to be able to go in this room and there's nothing usable in this room that would help anyone in any way except this freaking shelf that they taunt me with. Um, I think it's okay. They look freaking delicious. Ooh. Okay. That's not great. He's all about Solange and Solange barfs when she thinks of him. So, not, not ideal for, for Red, considering, it, you know, everyone else in this asylum is basically uh, cuddled up already. You and me both, bro. You and me both. Why is this... This guy is really, uh, wants to move in, if you know what I'm saying. Well, Solange's coming out in her undies to take the trash out, seventh time today. Yeah, get out of here. You don't have to honk. I'm already in the car. Everyone is on their own until 5 p.m. She can't stop whining this clock. It's really compulsive behavior, honestly. So long as you need a hobby. Oh my gosh. quieter I'm winding the clock saved by the bell or the phone who how do you know him uh no he's not available to talk don't ever call here again okay red is hot for firefighter and that one dude who always comes around and the mailman. That's just fun. He's just thinking of the only people he's ever seen who don't live here. Wow, he's really thinking about everyone he's ever seen. No, looping back around. Oh, what's that? Oh, well, in a depressing state of affairs, Nolan realized he loves arts and crafts from looking at the motivational poster. Shoot for the sun. You'll live on Mars. Oh, never mind. He hates it. He's like... Ugh, this garbage poster. I love it. It made me realize my passion. But do I like it? No. Oh, yikes. 
Okay, this was definitely the more evil choice, so I guess I picked correctly. This is my fun, sneaky uh, little nook where I watch people watch TV. What is going on with your eyes, Nolan? Oh my god. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's like, you know, TV. Briefcase with one book in it in the sun? Can you believe? It? Yeah, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> so angry. Aw, couple goals. Yay, evil dad's home. Did we get promoted? No, but we earned $100, which he's been wanting to do desperately. Barrett's done it. He made it through the first day at his job. And, well, no one has passed away. No one has even peed themselves. People are honestly doing really good. It makes me wonder. Why isn't everyone falling apart? Aw, they're even making friends. This is an ethical place. This is an ethical place to send your loved ones. Just don't worry about what happens in here. It's fine. Definitely don't worry about this clock that's definitely not haunted <gasps> no don't you start blanche no oh my gosh they'll choose this clock over anything anything see you next time